All right, so I've been putting PCs together for about 20 years, 15, 20 years, and uh, I've encountered a bunch of situations where I needed to test out the power supply, usually doing it with a multimeter. And so I was surfing Amazon and I came across this power supply tester and I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, so I decided to give it a shot and I bought it for, I think it was about 12 bucks. And of course came in the mail with virtually no instructions at all. So that's always kind of fun. Um, it kind of turned into a father-son project to see exactly, you know, how it's supposed to work and if it does what it does and then uh, to use it. So let's take a look at what this thing is. So we have our power supply tester and what this does is it ensures that the power supply you're testing conforms to the current ATX22 uh, specification that is published out on the internet. So, you know, just as a research sidebar, you can go out and read all kinds of things about, uh, you know, ATX and how it's changed over the years. And I've even got the uh, pinout printed up that we'll take a look at in a minute. But first off, let's go ahead and, and plug this in. And turn on the power supply and you right away you'll see a couple things one uh, my 3.3 volt indicator is flashing 36 which looks like an over voltage situation on that rail and then my second 12 volt rail is flashing LL no idea what that LL means but you can quickly see uh, that I only have one connector plugged in. If you've played with motherboards recently, you'll know that most uh, take two connectors, another connector over by the CPU. And indeed, if you look at the specification, you'll also see the 24 pin connector along with a second connector here. So that's the spec that I printed out from Wikipedia. We'll refer back to that in a minute. But so I'm just going to plug in another 12 volt rail here. We know it's 12 volt because of the yellow wires. So I'm going to plug it in where it says. Actually, I could have chosen the four one, but I chose uh, a pin with six. So you can see right away that eliminates or stops the uh, second one from blinking. But I still have this 3.3 volt uh, situation going on. We're not going to worry about the 3.3 uh, indicator yet. We are going to take a quick look at, you see this PG up here, which uh, reads 280 milliseconds. Again, if you go back to the specification, it indicates that there is a power good or power okay. Uh, and it says, is an output from the power supply to indicate that it is output stabilized and ready for use. It remains low for a brief time, 100 to 500 milliseconds. So and then if you go through and actually read the spec, uh, what it is is they allow for anything less than 500 milliseconds. It's kind of like almost like a power on self test where the power supply sends back a voltage uh, over on this uh, wire here to indicate that it is indeed up and functioning. So all that appears to be okay within the spec on this particular power supply. Okay, so one thing I want to do with this power supply tester also is to test the power leads to my peripheral devices. Uh, it has a 5 volt indicator, a 3.3 volt indicator, and a 12 volt uh, indicator. Those simply turn red or green uh, depending upon whether or not the voltage is sufficient when I plug in the leads. So my father used to call those dummy lights. See, I'll plug in the Molex indicator first, or Molex line first. With this one, I'm looking at uh, both yellow and red. So yellow is always 12 volts, red is always 5 volts. So I'm expecting the top and the bottom light to light up, which they indeed do. Now I'm gonna try one of the SA. Oh, interesting, the, when I unplug that, the 3.3 rail on my uh, main lead here went down to three and a half volts and is now within tolerance. So uh, SATA connectors, so I've got orange, red, and yellow, so I'm expecting all to come on. Orange is 3.3, red 5 volts, yellow 12. Let's see what happens here. Yep, all three come on. It's important to know too, you wanna unplug, you only wanna do these one at a time. If I leave this plugged in and I plug in another one, uh, this little device isn't smart enough to know uh, which one it is indeed testing and it'll simply leave uh, the green lights on. So let's see, let's unplug that. And I think the only thing left to test is again, just the little old uh, floppy 
uh, power lead here, which again red and yellow, so top and bottom should come on if I plug this in properly. There we go, they're both on, and somehow that threw me back to over voltage again. So I'm a little suspicious when I plugged in the SATA uh, lead that uh, that is indeed within tolerance at 3.3. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, hit it the old-fashioned way with my uh, multimeter and see what voltage is actually coming through there. So uh, hold on just one sec and let me get to that. Okay, so this has the nice LCD readout with the actual voltage for the two main motherboard connectors, but for the peripheral devices, uh, it only has these three indicator lights. And since I was over voltage on the 3.3 volt rail, uh, I wanted to see what the actual voltage was being supplied, uh, you know, on the peripheral device orange wire. So because it did indicate it was green on there, but I'm wondering if it's, you know, way, way over voltage. So I'm going to test this one kind of the old fashioned way. So just a couple of quick things as I'm setting this up. One, I have shorted uh, green, the green wire to ground, which going back to our spec is the power on wire you can see to a ground and I don't want to do that uh, without also putting some load on the power supply so I've hooked up just a little little case fan here and with that I'm going to switch on my power supply then I'm gonna take and I've got my voltmeter over here I'm gonna take my SATA connector and I'm going to press the two leads, one up against the orange wire, if you can see it there, one up against the black. And uh, let's see. Whoops, there we go. And I am reading 3.49, 3.489. So right about 3.5 volts, which is, again, within, within tolerance. I think we were at 3.6. Uh, which through the over tolerance uh, situation. Whoops, I'm letting go there. But so, and then interestingly, we can also test it out. We'll see what the 5 volt hit is. Uh, 5 volt is coming in. Whoops, if I can keep up applying pressure here. 5 volt is 5.22. And let's finally, let's try yellow. I'm going to have to switch hands. Uh, yellow is coming in at. 11.7 uh, 11.69 volts so everything looks uh, you know as expected there and let me see there was one other thing I wanted to show you on the power supply so let me take a second okay so real quick one other thing I saw on the spec that the power supply tester does not test for is the uh, 5 volt standby there you can see that says it's a purple wire on the power supply so I went ahead and right now there is nothing nothing jumped nothing shorted we just have the power supply turned off I am going to hit the purple wire with one of our probes and then hit a black wire here so you can see hopefully that it jumps up to 5 volts 5.1 so that is the standby voltage that the power supply uh, supplies to the motherboard even when the computer is off uh, so there again it complies to the ATX specification um, not a big deal that the power supply tester doesn't uh, test that but just, uh, just something else you can see uh, to test on the way there. So, all right, hope you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe, and I uh, hope you're having a good weekend or week or wherever it is your time.